Hi, this is Tim of the 1916 Company. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email us. Team also at the 1916company.com. It is in the description below. It's your email address for inquiring about the price of this or any of our watches. So reach out to us, tmasso at the 1916company.com. Today, we're discussing a 25-piece limited edition in rose gold launched for the 2012 model year. This is the DeVit 28 Skeleton Tourbillon. So the DeVit 28 and Skeleton Tourbillon. 43 millimeters in diameter, the watch measures 10.2 millimeters thick, and from lug tip to lug tip, fairly compact at 46.4 millimeters with a 21 millimeter spacing between the lugs. The watch is broad, flat, and surprisingly short across the wrist, so out of the hand and onto the wrist, I'm going to move my sleeve out of the way so you get a really good view here. This is an unconventional 43 watch that has really short lug to lug span. So you can see from over the top, even pulling the strap tight from an angle that exaggerates the width of the watch, there's no indication that it's over the edge of my wrist. In fact, when you look down the barrel, which is always the truest angle, you can see these lugs are not near the edge of my wrist. So I recommend this watch for a wrist of 15 centimeters circumference and larger. And being just over 10 millimeters thick, even with the sheer case flank, it will slide underneath many, if not all, dress cuffs. Taking a look at the strap, it is very substantial. So we have large rectangular scale, symmetrical scale alligator. Those qualities in combination, generally describing one of the best cuts of the hide. If you look carefully, you can see we have a sheer shaped, but actually folded edge to this strap. So you don't see the sawed off layers of leather. And then there's a monotone stitch, calfskin on the bottom, no crimping, no gouging, buttery smooth, and a brand new divot factory strap. Taking a quick look here, you can see that the lugs are sharp, angular, and prominent, but also really short. So the watch doesn't have a large span across the wrist. And through the use of curved spring bars, the strap can be cinched right up against the edge of the case, but with no impediment to its movement. It can be pulled right down around the tight curve of a small wrist. We have 48 imperial columns. The colonnade, pomp and circumstance for Jerome de Witt, who claims direct lineage to King Leopold II of Belgium, and through a more circuitous and less direct relation, a connection to Napoleon Bonaparte. So he likes the imagery of imperial France and royalty on his watches. Now the watch you see right here is actually quite compact with a fairly large movement, all things considered. It's a 43 millimeter case with a movement that's 33 millimeters across and essentially one and the same as the dial. So the colonnade extends to the, the cap of the watch and the crest of the watch is almost completely flat. We have here polish and media blast. So the imagery of the columns is elevated up to the top of the watch. You can see we have DeWitt's logo on the crown, which features a combination of blackening, media blast, and polish, and then an incredibly flat and level sapphire that's flush with the bezel. We have a chapter ring inboard that's polished. It has little indices against which you can read the hands. And just because some people might be fooled, I want to make it clear there's no loom. Even though those indices look like they might feature loom, they are mirror polished. Taking a look, you can also appreciate that the dial and the movement below, one and the same. The hands are faceted down their center broadsword. The faceting allow them to better contrast against a dial base that has all sorts of different textures and shades and colors. And then the tourbillon with a cage that looks a little bit like a dog bone. Now it's a one minute tourbillon and it is manually wound to achieve a fairly impressive three day power reserve. So 72 hours of power reserve despite the fact that it's only a single barrel. And it beats away to stately and very vintagey, 18,000 vibrations per hour. So it has a nice pleasing aesthetic cadence and against the ear, a nice slow beat rate. It is beautifully finished. While the shape of the cage is unconventional, both the bridges and the cage components are all artisanally crafted and quite attractive. And it is free sprung for both durability against shock and precise regulation. Plus it has a breguet overcoil hairspring. So in any position, the centered mass of the overcoil ensures the watch will keep very regular time. Manufacture movement. This was actually DeWitt's first in-house tourbillon caliber and it all pivots on 19 joules. And again, it's 33 millimeters in diameter. So you can see front and back it nicely fills the case. 28 is the series Torbion Skeleton, or Skeleton Torbion, I should say, is the model. We have the individual numbering out of the series of 25. And the bridges 
And believe it or not, they're actually German silver or nickel copper zinc. And then they've been coated with black gold to give them a uniquely stark aesthetic that contrasts well with the golden-tinged and silvered steel components of the caliber. If you take a quick look, you can see it is mirror beveled on the edge of every one of these surfaces and that we have black polished screw heads, satination on the wheels. If you get close, you can even see that there's internal beveling on the wheels, which is a detail that's often overlooked, even on very high-end watches, even on Geneva Seal. The ratchet wheel has been skeletonized. You can see it in silvered steel, and then below that, we also have a skeletonized mainspring barrel with the mainspring visible within. It is a good-looking, aesthetically balanced movement. You can see the little DeVitt W in there. This is caliber. 8028SS for skeleton, and then all this is water resistant down to 30 meters. A very special watch from a fascinating and quirky manufacturer that flies below the radar. As a result, its watches are all factory serviceable with parts being no problem whatsoever. Oftentimes with esoteric watches, the makers are long gone, but DeVitt still gainfully employed, plying his trade at DeVitt and reminding all of us that he is the descendant of royalty. He's there for parts and service of your 28 skeleton tourbillon. Reach out to Team Also at the1916company.com for purchase and pricing details.